Welcome to the third in our series of virtual guest speakers with Helen and Carlo from Time2 Resources. In this video, we're going to look at the purpose of enterprise. The first aim of a new business is survival. Time2 Resources began by producing low-cost digital resources, adding value by creating products for teachers to use in the classroom. These did not require any significant expenditure, so we were able to keep costs to a minimum. As we established a customer base, we began to grow nationally with repeat custom and word of mouth. As our product range increased, we produced catalogues and sent them to schools and colleges. Over time, a number of international centres requested goods and services, so we now cater for the international market with a range of products and student conferences in places such as Africa, the Middle East and Southeast Asia, despite greater investment leading to increased costs. Our revenue also rose, leading to profit increasing. For us, sales maximisation has not been a major objective. We have tried to meet customer needs by providing quality products whilst growing sensibly. We have not invested heavily in advertising to promote increased custom. As Time to Resources has grown, we have achieved our early objectives of survival, profit and growth. So now we're able to consider social aims. We have therefore introduced a voluntary side to our enterprise. For the last few years, we have hosted enterprise challenges as part of Global Entrepreneurship Week. These are for local schools in Yorkshire. These are events that are free for schools to enter a team to. In recent years, these have included a chocolate challenge with York Cocoa House and a spice challenge with Charmini's Indian Cuisine. From first setting up Time to Resources, we have also had ethical and environmental aims. Where possible, we use local suppliers to reduce our carbon footprint. All of our books are printed by HP Print in Pickering. Our web designer, VTS Design, is based in Moulton and our accountant in Shipley. This helps support local businesses and employment. Time to Resources has a number of objectives that provide challenges and targets. Perhaps the main one is to continue to grow the business. We do this by selling more business and economics products in the same market, with new product development a key driver of the business. We also look to develop new markets, such as those overseas. We have also produced products in other areas, such as IT, profit, Growth, market share are all linked. For example, growth of the business is likely to lead to increased market share and profit. We appreciate feedback from customers. Repeat custom suggests that customers are happy with products and these same customers continually tell us what new products they are looking for. Of course, this is again linked to profit, growth and market share. There are some very big competitors affecting our market share for example, Pearson at Excel, who run the BTEC courses, are owned by Pearson PLC, a multinational business. In 2019, it had revenues of nearly £3.9 billion, so it can invest heavily in products. Time to resources set challenging targets. They tend to be smart. Our new range of products are based on smart targets. They have identified an outcome, the range of products. There are a number of new products. We believe that these can be produced within the time that we have allocated. Although challenging, we have the resources available to produce them. And we hope to have the products available for schools and colleges at the start of the next academic year. Social pressures impact on all businesses. We hope that our products reflect the diversity of our customer base and we look to be socially responsible in our activities. As a small business, we are able to maintain strong and personal relationships with our stakeholders. We try to be a force for good in the local community, hosting activity days for local schools to attend and also visiting these local schools. We have a good relationship with our suppliers and we have developed our products to meet changes in society, with all of our products now available for immediate download rather than on a CD. Political pressures are pressures put on to enterprises by the government. There is a political pressure to pay employees a living wage. This is above the legal requirement of paying a minimum wage, which is set each year by the government. Although as a micro enterprise, we do not employ anyone directly, when using freelance workers, we pay above the minimum wage. We pay what we believe to be a living wage. 
We determine this by the location. So, for example, a higher rate would be paid for somebody who was working for us in London. We also consider the individual situation, e.g. a university student who is funding their degree. We make sure that we pay all food and travel expenses to ensure the individual is not out of pocket in any way whilst working for us. This shows that we are meeting our ethical responsibilities. There are a wide range of goods and services provided by enterprises. For example, cleaning businesses, fitness instruction, IT consultancies, financial consultancies, selling products, for example, a food store, a news agent, or artists selling work online. The goods and services that we supply are educational goods and services. The goods include physical products such as revision guides or preparing for assessment workbooks, as well as CDs and digital downloads for the teacher to use in the classroom. The services we offer include teacher training events and student revision conferences, both in the UK and globally. We covered this in more detail in the presentation A1, What is an Enterprise? Thank you for watching this video on the purpose of enterprises. Hopefully this will provide you with some insight and context to cover the work required for this unit. If you haven't already done so, why not subscribe to the Time to Resources YouTube channel? Our next video in the virtual guest speakers series will be on A4, Entrepreneurs.